Well, she was a dark horse candidate who swept into office on the strength of Donald Trump's numbers in Macomb County. Uh, it's been a rocky road, though, for Macomb County Clerk Karen Spranger ever since. Tonight, the Macomb County Board of Commissioners is poised to shut her down. We bring in Mara McDonald, who is in Mount Clemens, with more on what's happening here. Mara? Good evening to you, Devin. The Board of Commissioners is in the process of doing that right now. Karen Spranger is in front of them right now. She is asking for $15,000 for an independent counsel for a variety of reasons. Uh, chiefly, she wants to learn how she can legally get rid of some of the unionized employees in that office and bring in her political allies to fill those jobs. Needless to say, there is drama at every corner going on right now. I spoke with Spranger as she was walking in there tonight. Take a listen. Are you concerned that this office could actually administer an election at this point? Nothing is out of the realm of my concern right now in this office. That was clearly not Karen Springer. That was the chairman of the Board of Commissioners here in Macomb County, Bob Smith. I spoke to Bob Smith after I spoke with Clerk Springer. Here's the situation. Karen Springer had nothing to say, really, as she was walking into this meeting with the Board of Commissioners. She has fired her two top deputies uh, over the weekend because each of them independently filed ethics complaints against her. She has had multiple grievances, perhaps the most in county history, from the workers in that office, both UAW and AFSCME workers. In addition, she has had her IT privileges revoked by the county because she allegedly was allowing non-county personnel into the database and looking at private information. To put it mildly, they've got some drama going on there. The, the Board of Commissioners right now is really, quite frankly, trying to figure out where to go, what to do, um, and they at this point seem flummoxed. I, I, sources are telling me they're going to shut down this independent counsel request, but the question becomes, is the business of that office getting done? And right now, nobody seems to be able to answer that question. And all anybody can say is they think all of this ends up in litigation. We're live in Mount Clemens right now. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.